hi guys. One, I'm still sick. Apologies. And two, warning, again, major spoilers. If you're not caught up on Big Bang Theory, look away. So, I'm gutted this week. Two of my fandoms have ended in one week. Well, not the fandoms themselves, that's the fans, but the programmes they stem from. Two have ended this week. It'll be a bit further spread apart between when the videos go up for them, but from when they actually aired, when I watched them, and when I'm filming this, it's a few days. So at the start of the week we lost Game of Thrones, which is heartbreaking, and now we've lost Big Bang Theory, and I need to yawn again. I don't know what's wrong with me, I keep yawning. Uh, I think I might be a bit more upset over Game of Thrones ending. Be like being over. Because that's more my thing. Sitcoms are not my thing. Like, other than Big Bang Theory and Still Game, it's just really their spin offs. So, like, Young Sheldon. At least we've still got that for this being gone. But it's not the same. It's not as good. <laughs> but we'll have to make do. Um, yeah. Just like with Game of Thrones finishing, comparing the characters to when they first came in, they're so different. It is insane. It's, it's been on forever, so it's going to be a thing, isn't it? But 12 series, so 12 years of it. Obviously the character's going to be a bit different. Like Sheldon was an emotionless thing at the start and he learned to understand emotions. And grew a lot. And pretty much the same thing happened but faster with Amy. And the other characters changed as well so much. Yeah, so we need to talk about this final episode, right? One, I cried. <laughs> Not ashamed to say I cried. I was fine for the episode, I was just like, oh my god, really? But when it got to the end, when it was the very slow version of their theme song, like, finishing it, I cried. <laughs> um, I hope I'm not the only one who did. Um, so in that last episode, when the lift was fixed. That's a huge thing. It's quite sad when we get excited over a lift working, isn't it? But we are. Because <laughs> I've seen a lot of excitement, it's not just me. And we got to see Howard and Bernadette's kids. We actually saw them. That's another huge deal. And of course, Amy and Sheldon getting that well-deserved Nobel Prize. It was a very fitting end episode, and Penny's pregnant. I take it she, she changed her mind about not wanting kids. That's all I can remember her attitude to that being. But, yeah, that's a thing. So... I'm gonna miss it. If you watch it, I don't know how much you're gonna miss it as well. And just like with the Game of Thrones one, feel free to comment anything you like about Big Bang Theory and especially the final episode. And we'll geek out. And I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>